and just went through the air perhaps a yard too far and got on the wrong side of the slope. This man, uh, Juster Lauten, putting for a birdie on the six. And uh, this will take him level again with Ross Fisher, the leader. Good bowl putt, that. Accelerating the putt ahead, which is the right thing to do. It's only going to be a four. And we're ta taking the risk. With the driver off the tee, a little bit disappointing, I suppose, but don't complain, don't rush. You're doing nicely. The seventh, Ramon, this is aanvallen, want this is a par five. Yeah, pak zijn driver uit zijn tas zonder blik of blozer. And this is the swing in slow motion. Ja, je wordt niet zo, voor niks zo goed. Dit is perfect. Hij is nog een heel klein beetje op zijn rechterbeen hangen. Daar zou misschien nog iets, iets te winnen zijn. Maar voor de rest is dit helemaal gestroomlijnd. Is dit ja, een swing van een kampioen. En de drijf zou ook fantastisch zijn op 7. 257 in de front. So no chance into this wind to reach the green. Lothen just laying up with a long iron. Giving himself about 100 yards in the front edge. And has done exactly that. Enjoying it, he's totally focused, and well, one of their own taking really the big, the big galleries. 103 yards straight back into the wind, and the green that tilts heavily towards him. Got to be careful of too much spin here. He's a little arm shot. Don't create too much clubhead speed, otherwise you could suck it off the front of the green. Extra oh. centimetre further, and he's tied it. He's tied it. Gewoon zo richting de pin. Maar goed. Loughton was a little bit lucky with this pitch shot into this green. In fact, it pitched on the fringe, meant that it didn't spin back and away. If it pitched on the green, I think it would have done. And once it starts on that slippery slope, it's down well off the green. Lauren found the green in three, about 25 feet away, and has putted down to a couple of feet, so he's a little bit of work to do to save his part. This young man having the pin out, putting from off the green. It's a slow putt, this very much uphill. Not too much break about it, though. Got it. Oh. No, softer. He's got one of those Harold Swash putters with the crescent of slightly inverted in grooves, which helps you put uh, topspin on. Luton or Loughton and uh, David Carter, of course. Mountain. Putting for a par. This should be fairly simple, Tim. No, Stevie. No. This one's not very nice. It's very quick. It's a little bit of movement from left to right. He'll probably make it look a formality, but if he tries to bang it in and misses on the right side, could go five feet by. Yeah, best place for it then. Slight figure and. Uh, Looks to have a very good compact game. Whether he can hit it far enough, I'm sure he can with building the modern equipment and use it properly. You can almost everybody can hit it far enough these days. 21-year-old Jost Luton or Louton. And he's one of three players sharing the lead at 10 under. The others being David Carter and Ross Fisher. He shot at eight, and this is the most demanding shot, and he's hit it way right. Fell off that. First time he's lost his balance. It's gone in the bushes. It's gone down there. There's the view from the back on the tee at the eight. It's a lovely setting for a golf hole, but 222 on the card, and Tim's been chasing down. Where is he, Tim? Yeah, he's about 35 yards from the flag, well to the right, as you say, down in this hollow, and he's right in the middle of a bunch of stinging nettles, so... Not very pleasant, but he does have a clear line to the green. Obviously, he's got one or two of those stringy nettles to get through to the back of the ball, so it's going to be a sort of lean on the left side chop and carry it up as close to the front edge as he dare. 
not a very nice spot at all. Caddy noticeably with shorts on, not going close to... No, he's been standing <laughs> on the edge and pointing a lot. <laughs> yes. As you would. <laughs> Absolutely. Even with trousers on, I didn't venture in. I just looked from the distance. Is he going to go for this? He looks as though he's sort of chopped yeah, something he out. He's going to try and play a parachute lob, doesn't he? Just Because he's on such a severe upslope, he needs to, as I say, get his weight on his left side to guarantee the strike. Yeah, it's going to be a big, full, bloody blow. Try and throw it up in the air. And if he can hit it hard enough and high enough, he can stop it. He's only got four or five yards of green to work with. Slope, no. You just have no idea how that's going to come out of that stuff. Nettles is not something we've been practicing. Hasn't lost his turn. The young Dutchman. Important now for his equilibrium just to get it down, get away with a four. He's still got a good round going. He's under par. But no real surprise after some fairly simple holes to begin with that they tack back towards the clubhouse, it's the game's got a bit harder. Well, I think this stretch of 8, 9 and 10 are perhaps the most difficult on the course. What a wide stance here. Ball well back in the stance. Lofted club again, as we saw at the second. Looking it in low. I think uh, when you're 21, you'd settle for that. You'd expect to make the putt back. Way he puts, he knows he's going to hold it, I would think, which of course is so often the thought is the father of the deed. And he can stand aside now and wait, gather his thoughts. Second shot of a tee shot would have been a little bit of a shock to him. Flat spot, but what there is around it, there's a little bit of movement from left to right. This will be his first bogey in 38 holes if he makes it. A bit the putting of uh, Aaron Badley, sort of one look bang. Now the ninth hole, it's a, a, a blind tee shot. The other thing, Steve, the the tee points really to the left of where you want to go. Unless you're very careful, you can be pointed straight at the left-hand strand of trees. They think it's gone straight, maybe favouring the left side, but well done. It's a tough shot to come to after you've made a bit of a nonsense of the previous long shot. Friend and family enjoying it. Fisher with a, an eight-footer to avoid there being no players under par. Josta Lauten, one of our three leaders. On uh, nine under, second to the ninth. A little bit of concern about that. I think that's gone right to the right. Oh, oh, yo, 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 yo. That was very nearly uh, the shot you don't mention. Bijna een schenker durft wordt bijna niet uit te spreken. Het ergste wat je als golfer kan overkomen. Now oh, yeah. Louten. Hit and hope. Come the good day, Joey. Well, the one thing from up there, of course, absolutely no green with which to work. Everything's sort of stepping stones down the hill. And he's scattered that through and on a bogey at eight and quite possibly a couple going at nine. So a hiatus, a little crisis. 